أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ياسين By the Quran full of wisdom You are indeed one of the messengers On a straight way It is a revelation sent down by him The exalted in might most merciful In order that you may admonish a people whose fathers had received no admonition and who therefore remained heedless of the signs of Allah. The word is proved true against the greater part of them, for they do not believe. We have put yokes round their necks, right up to their chins, so that their heads are forced up and they cannot see. And we have put a bar in front of them and a bar behind them, and further, we have covered them up so that they cannot see. The same is it to them whether you admonish them or you do not admonish them. They will not believe. You can but admonish such a one as follows the message and fears the Lord most gracious unseen. Give such a one, therefore, good tidings of forgiveness and a reward most generous. Verily, we shall give life to the dead And we record that which they sent before and that which they leave behind. And of all things have we taken account in a clear book of evidence. Set forth to them by way of a parable the story of the companions of the city. Behold, there came messengers to it. When we first sent to them two messengers, they rejected them. But we strengthened them with a third. They said, Truly, we have been sent on a mission to you. The people said, You are only men like ourselves, and Allah most gracious sends no sort of revelation. You do nothing but lie. They said, Our Lord does know that we have been sent on a mission to you, and our duty is only to proclaim the clear message. The people said, For us, we augur an evil omen from you. If you desist not, we will certainly stone you, and a grievous punishment indeed will be inflicted on you by us. They said, Your evil omens are with yourselves. Deem you this an evil omen? If you are admonished? Nay, but you are a people transgressing all bounds. Then there came running from the furthest part of the city a man saying, O my people, obey the messengers. Obey those who ask no reward of you for themselves, and who have themselves received guidance. It would not be reasonable in me if I did not serve him who created me, and to whom you shall all be brought back. Shall I take other gods besides him, if Allah most gracious should intend some adversity for me? Of no use whatever will be their intercession for me, nor can they deliver me. I would indeed, if I were to do so, be in manifest error. For me, I have faith in the Lord of you all. Listen then to me. It was said, Enter you the garden. He said, Ah, me, with that my people knew what I know. For that my Lord has granted me forgiveness and has enrolled me among those held in honor. And we sent not down against his people after him, any hosts from heaven, nor was it needful for us to do so. It was no more than a single mighty blast, and behold, they were like ashes, quenched and silent. Ah, alas for my servants, there comes not a messenger to them, but they mock him. See they not how many generations before them we destroyed? Not to them will they return. But each one of them all will be brought before us for judgment. A sign for them is the earth that is dead. We do give it life and produce grain therefrom, of which you do eat. And we produce therein orchards with date palms and vines, and we cause springs to gush forth therein. That they may enjoy the fruits of this artistry, it was not their hands that made this. Will they not then give thanks? Glory to Allah, 
who created in pairs all things that the earth produces, as well as their own humankind, and other things of which they have no knowledge. And a sign for them is the night. We withdraw there from the day, and behold, they are plunged in darkness. And the sun runs its course for a period determined for it, that is the decree of him, the exalted in might, the all-knowing. And the moon, we have measured for it mansions to traverse till it returns like the old and withered lower part of a date stalk. It is not permitted to the sun to catch up the moon, nor can the night outstrip the day. Each just swims along in its own orbit according to law. And a sign for them is that we bore their race through the flood in the loaded ark. And we have created for them similar vessels on which they ride. If it were our will, we could drown them, then would there be no helper to hear their cry, nor could they be delivered, except by way of mercy from us, and by way of worldly convenience to serve them for a time. When they are told, Fear you that which is before you, and that which will be after you, in order that you may receive mercy, they turn back. Not a sign come to them from among the signs of their Lord, but they turn away therefrom. And when they are told, Spend you of the bounties with which Allah has provided you, the unbelievers say to those who believe, Shall we then feed those whom if Allah had so willed, he would have fed himself? You are in nothing but manifest error. Further they say, When will this promise come to pass, if what you say is true? They will not have to wait for aught but a single blast. It will seize them while they are yet disputing among themselves. No chance will they then have by will to dispose of their affairs nor to return to their own people. The trumpet shall be sounded when, behold, from the sepulchres men will rush forth to their Lord. They will say, Ah, woe unto us! Who has raised us up from our beds of repose? A voice will say, This is what Allah most gracious had promised, and true was the word of the messengers. It will be no more than a single blast, when lo, they will all be brought up before us. Then on that day not a soul will be wronged in the least, and you shall be repaid the meads of your past deeds. Verily, the companions of the garden shall that day have joy in all that they do. They and their associates will be in groves of cool shade, reclining on thrones of dignity. Every fruit enjoyment will be there for them. They shall have whatever they call for. Peace, a word of salutation from a Lord most merciful. And O you in sin, get you apart this day. Did I not enjoin on you, O children of Adam, that you should not worship Satan, for that he was to you an enemy avowed, and that you should worship me, for that this was the straight way? But he did lead astray a great multitude of you. Did you not then understand? This is the hell of which you were repeatedly warned. Embrace you the fire this day, for that you persistently rejected truth. That day shall we set a seal on their mouths, but their hands will speak to us, and their feet bear witness to all that they did. If it had been our will, we could surely have blotted out their eyes. Then should they have run about groping for the path, but how could they have seen? And if it had been our will, we could have transformed them to remain in their places. Then should they have been unable to move about, nor could they have returned after error. If we grant long life to any, we cause him to be reversed in nature. Will they not then understand? We have not instructed the prophet in poetry, nor is it meet for him. This is no less than a message and a Quran making things clear that it may give admonition to any who are alive, and that the charge may be proved against those who reject truth. 
see they not that it is we who have created for them, among other things which our hands have fashioned, cattle, which are under their dominion, and that we have subjected them to their use, of them some do carry them, and some they eat, and they have other profits from them besides, and they get milk to drink, will they not then be grateful? Yet they take for worship gods other than Allah, hoping that they might be helped. They have not the power to help them, but they will be brought up before our judgment seat as a troop to be condemned. Let not their speech then grieve you. Verily, we know what they hide as well as what they disclose. Does not man see that it is we who created him from sperm? Yet behold, he stands forth as an open adversary. And he makes comparisons for us, and forgets his own origin and creation. He says, Who can give life to dry bones and decomposed ones at that? Say, He will give them life who created them for the first time, for he is well versed in every kind of creation. The same who produces for you fire out of the green tree, when behold you kindle therewith your own fires. Is not he who created the heavens and the earth able to create the like thereof? Yea, indeed, for he is the creator supreme of skill and knowledge infinite. Verily, when he intends a thing, his command is, Be, and it is. So glory to him in whose hands is the dominion of all things, and to him will you be all brought back.